Arsenal fan TV, DTV's channel before the game yeah. about Giroud. And it actually, it's fair play to you. You said that you thought last week a lot of people overacting about Giroud, and that was a yeah. great goal, the first one. Yeah, it was a good goal he scored, and that, but it's, I'm still not happy. I'm still not, you know me. I'm turning into <laughs> Claude, man. But I'm just. What were you happy about today? I just still think there's no balance. Again, I just don't think there's no balance. I think the first 30 minutes totally dominated the game. And then we went back to the old Arsenal, where it's mm. like 15, where they could have ended up going 2 1 up, where they shouldn't have even equalised. Mm. So you're just like, little mistakes. Do you think it's just things. with us? It's just like, we switch off every now and again. Yeah. We just seem to just switch off. For, in, in this Premier League, you can't you even can't. switch off for a second. You can't. You can't switch off for two seconds. And, you know, it, we did do well today. We did, in patches, there were some really good things, but I still think there's an unbalance there. Mm. I still think that Wenger's compensating Ramsey and the team, like Ramsey, um, Kazula or Ozil, only two out of that three can play, mm. as far as I'm concerned. Who, who, would you, who would you have out of those two? You said only two out of them can play. Who, who for you needs to drop out? I think Ramsey needs to drop out. He hasn't done enough for me. Not lately. He's not done enough for me. And he pulled Kazula out of his position next to Coquelin last week and put him on the left, and it went to tit. It just, and then he put Kozula back next to Coquelin today and it was just like the end of last season again. Mm. So, and then he put Ramsey. I don't think even he knows what he's going to do. Well, he had to bring, push Ramsey no, back because he took off you know, and I, In that side of things, we were calling it at half-time as well. I tweeted as well at half-time saying, he's got to take Coquelin off mm. because he, he's going to go in a minute. Mm. You know, Is that the argument, do you think, for bringing in another defensive midfielder. We saw it today that, you know, when you're playing in that role, it's such a competitive role. so disciplined. Mm. You have to be. And he is... But even with discipline, yeah. you can pick up it, cards in can, that position. You can. It, it, it's the nature of the job, as they say. Mm. But, you know, I think Benga done right to take him off and Ramsey come on. But then mm. that side of it, it was, a lot, it was 15 minutes where we're just defending again. We're just like, mm. oh, not again, <laughs> man. But... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It's, it's the first win on the board, which is the main main thing. So, you know, not many teams are going to come here and and get a lot of points this season because they are a decent side, but I think we caught them at a good time. You know, Balassi did, did not look fit today. He didn't look right. Sahar was uh, nullified. I think today proved how much we missed Bellerin last week. He was Massively. So, uh, yeah, we, what we got left to the end of the window? Two weeks? <laughs> Two weeks. And it's... Every man, woman, and child wants to be an in the know. We even got <laughs> Venezuelan women with <laughs> telling us. Do you know what I mean? It's like I'll, I'll give you a summary of an in the know, right? If you throw enough shit, eventually some of it will stick, right? So the easiest thing for you to do, if you say that you are in the know, right? I can tell you now the Benzema situation right now. He will either come to Arsenal, he will either stay at Madrid. Or he'll go to someone else. <laughs> There's you in the know. You heard it here first. Like a, we haven't really got a big six foot plus midfielder in there, and mm. I'd like that, you know, the Vieira type of player. Yeah. I know there aren't many Vieiras out there, but, you know, I'd like mm. someone.